do I use Dapper or Entity Framework for my .NET project? It is always confusing when you have to make a decision. Hi guys and welcome to .NET Mastery. My name is Prugin and if you love content related to .NET programming, make sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you will always be notified when I publish new videos. Now let's get back to the big question. Entity Framework Core or Dapper? Most common answer that you hear is it depends. But what does it really depend on? That is what we will answer in this video. First let me take a quick overview. Dapper is a micro ORM. In simple words, it is an object mapping tool which helps to map results from a query to the domain classes or models in C Sharp. And that is the main functionality of a micro ORM. Entity Framework Core on the other hand is a full-fledged ORM framework for .NET application. It does the mapping like Dapper but it does much more since it is a complete framework. It allows developers to work with everything in database using .NET domain classes. In simple words, if you use Entity Framework or Entity Framework Core, then you do not have to write queries to create, read, update or delete a record. ORM is responsible to do all of that with few lines of code. Now let's take a look on what is preferred in which scenario. Dapper is preferred by companies who are database first. What I mean by that is companies who have DBAs or developers who loves to write their SQL statements. With Dapper, you will have full control on the SQL and it will not be abstracted like in case of Entity Framework. Entity Framework on the other hand is preferred where developers love to code in C Sharp and they do not want to worry about the SQL. Entity Framework team does an amazing job at making sure the SQL that gets executed behind Entity Framework is optimized and sometimes it would even be more optimized than if a developer was writing query themselves. So kudos to Entity Framework team for that. When it comes to performance, Dapper is typically faster than Entity Framework, whether we use tracking or not. Basically, if your application is extremely sensitive to performance, then I would vote for Dapper hands down. But honestly, that much sensitivity to performance is a rare scenario. On the other hand, if your company is more focused on productivity, then Entity Framework Core will win the race. With Entity Framework Core, transactions and rollbacks are automatically managed. Everything is in source control and you can easily revert back to old version of migration that are applied to the database and view what exactly was modified. With great power comes great responsibility. When we work with Entity Framework Core, developer needs to know migration, how to read them, and what happens if migrations get corrupt. They should also be familiar with how dbset, chainset, and dbTracker works. It will not be a good scenario if someone starts with Entity Framework Core only with the basic knowledge. So Dapper has an easier learning curve since developer would write SQL as compared to Entity Framework. Lastly, when it comes to .NET executing stored procedures, Working with views, it is much easier to do that with Dapper than working with Entity Framework. Now this might change in future, but as of .NET 7, stored procedures are much easier with Dapper. Having worked with both Dapper and Entity Framework, if I had to pick one for my team who is well experienced in both Dapper and Entity Framework, I would still not blindly pick one for my team. If my project contains complex read operation and it is performance critical, then I would lean towards Dapper, else I would be in favor of Entity Framework. I have also worked with project that uses Dapper for data retrieval because of the stored proc flexibility there and Entity Framework Core for everything else. And that project also worked flawlessly. So that could be another route that is possible. 
but I would lean towards picking one and then if situation arises where it is not working optimal, only then I would go with the hybrid route. If you want to learn more about Tapper or Entity Framework Code in depth, you can check out more on .NET Mastery. I hope my experience with Tapper and Entity Framework helps you to make the right choice. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video and leave a comment if you have any questions or if you have other topics that you want me to cover in the next video.